Okay, I just wanted to quickly show you how I got in and out. This is a step ladder in my hand. You can get them from industrial, um, sheds, mostly industrial. So like uh, if you go to Novo or Electro and you go to the industrial area, you'll see uh, a couple of these a day. They just look like this on the ground. And you're going to pick them up and you can deploy them. Now, I'm not a big fan of the step ladders uh, for getting into a base. Um, I think it's borderline sketchy, so. Um, it also encourages servers to have people uh, build their walls too high. So I never use one to get in, but you guys, uh, I think, already know about this one to get in. So there, I'm in. Now, um, before you had your big wall, you could just go up here and get out, right? Like, I'm sure you guys know about this way to get out. So I could just jump over. I don't want to because uh, I don't want to jump back in. I'm kind of lazy. And I'm glad you guys put a simple roof there because uh, you can actually follow this all the way around and jump on that simple roof. Actually, I haven't tried this. I want to see if it works. I see an opening. I might get stuck, though. Yeah, I can't get in. That's good. That's great. So you come over here. Oops. I don't like to take fall damage. Uh, I did it in his crib. So then you go uh, put chess pieces in the cars, and then you get yourself out. Yeah. Now, if I didn't have this ladder, I would probably just take this truck over to the wall, vault to, um, I'd move all your cars, and I'd take your truck over to the wall, and I'd vault to that little, like, partial layer and then I just jump on out um, but this is just as easy uh, and then you don't really know uh, like you see the ponds but you don't really see cars moved around place ladder of course I only do this for RP reasons I don't gear RP or anything Hmm, I have to get my stamina back. Um, I just vault, so when my stamina's back, he'll he'll lift over that rock. Sometimes it's a little tricky to get this place, so I'm gonna have to replace it. Which is, uh, the adrenaline is high, because you guys could wake up at any time and just, uh, you know, initiate and kill me. Pretty fun, actually. There we go, and I'm out. Run this way. That uh, ladder will leave in about an hour. Its uh, place time doesn't stay like that. It's kind of like leaving a bag on the ground. Uh, it will despawn. So yeah, now I just... Uh, oh. Make my way out of here without dying. And, uh, yep, there I'm out.
Um, I'm actually going to go back because I have some recommendations, and since I'm recording a video, it is, I'll do it. So, of course, put a wall there. If you need a step ladder to get up higher to build a wall, do it. I would even, you know, go up there a little bit uh, with a wall, and then you should be pretty well covered. Right here, though, um, somebody is definitely going to get trapped in your moat, so I would, like, it becomes a moat there, right? If you go up too high there, it becomes a little central area they can get trapped, and then we'll get admin tickets saying I'm stuck in the center, and then we'll kind of have a, all a good laugh about it. So I would uh, go high up on this one, too, so they can't even get over this one. Like, you can jump this one, right? So, okay, I'm going to go back in. That's, yeah, it's weird. I don't like that that's so weird. There we go. And I think, like, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I'm kind of of the mind, I want somebody to be able to get out easily without having to grieve my walls. Um, so you could just leave that as is. Um, I'm done coming to your base, but uh, yeah, like you could leave that as is, but uh, you could just put a fence here too. Um, just, just one fence, maybe too high right here, and that would solve that little problem. Um, other than that, it's pretty good. I mean, uh, way over there. Uh, like you have two fences with an airlock, so somebody's gonna get stuck, and that means they're gonna have to use a hatchet to get out, uh, and they won't be able to go to your uh, little car car lock here, so I don't know. Um, it's up to you whether you want somebody to be able to get out or not. Like, they end up breaking down a wall. But, you know, you get to keep all the resources when they break down a wall, so. Um, and wall breaks leave a log, like me uh, hopping the wall and using that step ladder uh, didn't create a single log, um, which if you ever need to do a base rating report because somebody's griefing you or they stone aged you like they took all your stuff. Um, yeah, at least a wall break creates a log and then the admins can do something about it. So yeah, actually I would I would put up uh, double eye fences there and then I'd put a fence up over there and then, then they have to use a hatchet on your wall to get out. And then uh, we have a log on it. Um, but I do know uh, there's about, I'm one of the four, but there's about four people that uh, have been in and out of your base. So it's, it's kind of a pain in the ass to have a base to secure. Uh, anyway, so that's it. Thanks.